Hey guys, I'm here bringing you another video. Welcome back on this fine, glorious... What day is it? Sunday, I'm recording this. Uh, we've had a great day so far. Three games, three videos, one loss, two wins. Getting fed in all of them, though. And uh, we're going to try and continue that trend on Steve. So we're on Steve mid. If you're new to the channel, we call Velkos Steve. I'll tell you guys why when we get in game. Very quickly, though, we got the old load of Meduda. So it's like a high platinum game. Again, weirdly, some games we're getting like quite a lot of diamond players. And then some games, no diamond players, which is a bit odd. Um, so this guy's autofill doesn't play a too much of Jace, but it does okay on his games versus like a Wukong main. We're against a Syndra. And we should do fine in this matchup as long as she doesn't get fed. But she's running Dark Harvest, which is a bit weird. Uh, we've got potentially a Smurf Ezreal on our team. Um, doesn't seem to be any duos in the game though, and obviously Nocturne is a scary thing for me because he can just like jump on my face. So I'll have to be careful of that. Uh, so Zonya's might be needed a bit, you know, in mid game. Also, Halo Blades Kaiser. That's a bit weird. Uh, Inner's also an Ezreal main. So yeah. Without much further ado though, oh, what's this guy? He is a Fiddlesticks main, got banned out. Uh, without much further ado, we're in the game, so I don't need to do anything. Voila. I'm gonna be honest, I love when that happens. <laughs> That's good. Halo Blades is the thing you go. Is it? Oh, maybe I'm just not up to date with um, her then. I'm guessing they're doing that, by the way. It would be kind of weird if you're sending Syndra top. Um, so comp-wise, they're all pretty squished. If I could get fed, I literally kill their whole team. Let's hope I get fed. You're right there, bud. He's got ants in his pants. It's my opinion on Ari and high yellow. I mean, we just played it and carried, like, the whole game, but it depends what you call high yellow. This is, like, high platinum, low diamond, so I guess it's not too high rating. Uh, <clears throat> she struggles the higher and higher you go. To kind of like, I don't know, in, for me, I, I feel like Ari needs to snowball to do anything and it's harder to snowball in higher rating. So in essence, the champion struggles the higher you go. You can play something that doesn't need a snowball as a mid mage and be more reliable. What I think high yellow starts, eh, this I think there's two definitions of it pretty much. I think there's a an overall definition. Oh, as what, like, the general player base should consider high or low. And for that, man, to me, that that's easily just, like, diamond. Because, like, diamonds, you're in the top 1% of the game. If people don't consider that he a high or low, then I really don't know what the hell, you know. If if a silver player doesn't think diamond is high or low, then I don't know what the hell's gone on. Um, but then, um, I think there's also a personal definition of high or low, too. So for me, I'd probably consider high or low, like, diamond, too. Um, the reason why is just personal experience. The game, even though I'm not, I'm not even there right now on my main account, obviously, throughout the years, the game just feels different the moment you get into Diamond 2. And obviously, yeah, it feels different when you get into Diamond 1 and Master, sure. But there's a big, big difference, Diamond 2. Like, Diamond 2 is where you escape Diamond 4 MMR completely. Because like, when you're in Diamond 3, you're still getting some Diamond 4s. When you're in Diamond 2, yeah, you're not getting Diamond 4s anymore. And Diamond 4 sucks. Like, yeah, you're still in the top 1% of the game. But Diamond 4 has the people that have been boosted by a friend. The people that, like, got to a rating because they just played a lot, you know, at one particular point in the season. Not generally because they're insanely good. And it's just an absolute fiesta. All right, we're already getting ganked. That Again, we've been camped quite a lot today, uh, but we've been managing to be, do okay with it. The problem is, Velkos does struggle a lot with getting camped. Literally no mobility. So, when we're playing Ari, we can obviously charm people into a tower and kill them. Or we we're playing Fizz. Fizz has his E, so he can avoid it. Velkos doesn't really have those tools, so hopefully we'll be fine. Gonna just max W, I think, for wave clear. I know some people like going the Q. I don't think I can get away with it right now. Oh, you're taking XP. Oh, that sucks for me. <laughs> I know it doesn't seem like a big deal to a lot of people, but it is a really big deal when people do that. 
There was an episode not long ago where we were playing top lane and there was a, we had a trundle jungle and in the comments we go, I don't see what that trundle did was actually that bad. It was really bad. It might not seem bad if you were in like mid lower to mid tiers, but in the higher rating you go, that legit cost me top lane. And I'm not I'm not over exaggerating. It it was it was really bad. It cost me half a level at like disadvantage over my lane opponent. Nice. Alright, Syndra's got obviously aggro advantage because of the gank. That's fine. I'm just gonna do that. Pretty safe first buy. <laughs> My back still is pretty bad. This is very stiff all the time. Okay, the Wukong apparently is not farming very well. That's good. Right, reminding people that Wukong did get like a small nerf. Doesn't seem like a lot to a lot of people, but a three armor nerf does make up quite a big, a big difference when he's against like a poke champion like Jace in early game. As long as the Jace is effectively poking. Do I think phase rush of Elkos could work? Don't think it's needed when you're ultimate you're stationary you're kind of wasting the phase rush proc when you're ulting um i mean i'm pretty sure i outscale her if i land my combo but nice i also could say the same if she lands her full combo on me i'm also probably dead and also the nocturne has already shown a little bit of attention in mid so in the back of my mind, I'm like, if he's shown attention pre-6, what's going to happen when he hits level 6? So seeing my bot lane do well actually gives me a bit of hope in mid lane. Because it's like, okay, if you're going to come mid Nocturne, my bot lane's just got a double... Just got a double kill. Are you going to ignore my bot lane? Oops. Right now, I'd love to get a combo on the Syndra. I don't think I'd kill her. But it'd be nice just to get her out of health. And it might open up Dragon or something for my team. Ah, that was really close. I haven't played Velkos in a while. Yeah, see, he's, he's coming mid lane a lot. Again. Man. Today has just been one of these days that the jungler is really likey. Really lucky mid lane. That was actually really close of me pulling the trigger on my combo, by the way. If she took a little bit more damage. That's a good dragon. Very nice. Again, that is scaling that the enemy team cannot get. Obviously, it's not Infernal Dragon Soul, but... Reminding people that still is 4% attack damage and ability power that we have now over the enemy team and they cannot get. That's really good. I want to stay for Lost Chapter, but I'm also pretty nervous. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. Okay, Nocturne's level 6. And in mid lane again. I got double sums though. Um, so right now we are just kind of mindlessly split pushing. But not split pushing, just pushing. But that's the way that I just want to try and survive the lanes so far. Um, the question I've got in my mind right now is am I going Luden's... Am I going Luden's Echo, which is technically more damage, or am I going GLP? Hmm. Both work. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, the oh my god, she got given blue? Okay, they have to be duo. Nocturne's come mid a bunch and given her the first blue. 
They have to be duo, right? That doesn't happen anymore. Is GLP better for Nocturne? Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking. And if, like, there's... Velkoz technically has advantage over Syndra because of the range. But if she gets close, that that's obviously um, where I could be in trouble. But maybe GLP would just give me enough, like, I can slow her so she can't get near me. It's kind of what I'm thinking. Nice, Ezreal. That has to be bot. Nope. I'm on my way. That works. He flashed, right? I swear, I'm pretty sure I saw a flash. So Syndra got a kill in bot lane, unfortunately. Um... Wait, she didn't use ult to get a kill? What? Okay. That surprised me a bit. Holy moly. I was like, what? Double kill Wukong. Why did he just stat? Okay. That wasn't very good. Annoying that I had to flash that, but I'm not letting her live. Boop. Um, Nocturne's there, so I can stay. The Wukong's getting pretty fed, though. I'm a bit worried. Because Wukong is still an absolute monster. Mm, I think it's too greedy to stay for a tower plate. I think I'd die. Um... Nah, I'm having a good game. I'm not going GLP. I'm going Ludens. More damage. More damage. Ugh. I'm confident I can just land my combos and just kind of snowball mid now. One big combo and I think I kill the Syndra, so... Jace is not having a good game. Enjoy. Oh, there we go, baby. We don't win with a pretty strong Velkoz and a really fed Ezreal. I'd be surprised. Okay. Tower plates. We might be able to get two tower plates here. This one and then the next one. Cloud Dragon. Nee, not exactly the one that I would love, but whatever. He's giving me blue! Again, I always find it weird when junglers sometimes give blue buffs when I want to go back and buy. Have blue buff, because right now it's kind of a waste me having it, because I want to go back. But you, as a mid laner, sometimes you feel pressured. Oh, I better go take the blue buff right now. Oh. Oh. You're an inter. <laughs> what? What's going on today, dude? Okay, the barrier wasn't a waste, apparently. What is- I've legit had so many kills today from people just running into my tower. He's desperate, maybe. But that, that was insane. Oh, 
she got the queue off. Okay, I kind of just ran into her a bit there. Happy I killed her. But, hmm. Maybe a bit too ballsy. They, 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 to me, they have to be pre-made. Like, they have to be. I'm going to try and find out. Por again, Porofessor doesn't always know straight away, so... Yeah, Wukong, who obviously is really fed, is now trying to make an impact around the map because the Jace is 0 4. Little bit of top lane difference this game. Oof. Wait, Jay still died? <sighs> oh god. Uh, the difference between these two is absolutely massive. I just don't understand how he's feeding so badly. That's annoying. Is Mirror Mana Jace normal? Uh, I wouldn't do it myself because I think it makes you too weak in your lane phase, as you can probably clearly see. Um, it's really good on him, obviously, yeah, if you can complete it without getting your whole team behind. But this game arguably is on a tether at the moment because of how badly the, the Jace has been doing. Nice kill by Kha'Zix. Nicely played. The dodging of uh, the Syndrome. But, you know, we still have a really fed Ezreal. I'm pretty strong. Kha'Zix isn't doing bad. We've also got two dragons, so... As long as Wukong doesn't kill everything, we'll be okay. But that's the problem. He might be able to kill everything. Damn, close bot lane. Well, yeah, they're doing really well. I don't love me overextending here. So I don't know where Syndra's gone and Nocturne's above me. But I also feel like I need to have pressure right now. Like, if we go by what's happened historically this game, the Nocturne will keep coming mid lane, even though my bot lane is absolutely getting fed like crazy. Syndra damage, everybody. I got skilled on. She pressed R. <laughs> okay, then. I can hit a full combo, and then I just die. That's cool. That's the real one. Yeah, he's dead. Nice. Watch the Ezreal position. Didn't even get hit a single time because he just stayed out. That's really good. Good patience by the, the Ezreal. So that does show we can put a bit of trust in this Ezreal, which is always nice. Which is great. Oh, God, hiccups. So he's going to push top lane and use Rift Herald. So I'll go top lane to cover. Ugh. But yeah, at the time, by the way, that was a 2 and 4 Syndra. Basically one shot in me. Ugh. That doesn't feel great. A winning bot lane in a Huzzy game? I know, dude. It's crazy. It's like we just won the lottery. I don't even enter the lottery anymore. There was a time that I was entering, like, every week. It sounds bad, but it was when I was, like, in a not a very good mental place. I was like, dude, if I could just win a lot of money, then I could, like, buy a house and kind of, like, do whatever I want. But I'm in a much better place nowadays, so I don't feel like I need to win millions. Obviously, it would be nice. Let's be honest, but... Yeah. What else can I discover? 
So the Wukong, by the way, has legit stopped farming. He's like been on a hundred farm for ages. I think it's legit he feels the need that like I'm fed right now. If we if I don't like make an impact, we lose. But the problem with that is we are all actually still continuing farming relatively. Like the Jace has slowed down a lot too, but his strength, yes, he's seven one in kills, but his if his farm doesn't go up, then we're just gonna overtake him in gold from farming. But yeah, a bit weird. How the hell didn't Lulu die? Oh good. This Kha'Zix has wanted me this whole game, man. It's nuts. Unfortunately, we had a Kha'Zix on the other side of the map for all of that. <sighs> I'm gonna sell that. Um... I don't know what, again, I couldn't tell what happened in that team fight because the Nocturne ultimate blocked my vision, but I'm guessing the Nocturne... Well, I don't know how Ezreal died. Kazakh's got 2.6k gold. Oh, yeah, look. his item, He'll have a black cleaver now. And then two long swords. That's not a long sword. Okay, he's going tanky. Man, I can't... I really, like... Obviously, I'm looking forward to when things kind of go back to normal, but I really, really want to go to the dentist. My jaw is still not right, and it gives me pain most days of the week. It's a massive blech. I need to get that sorted. Because it's not good being in discomfort when my job is talking, and I think talking triggers it. I kind of need to get that sorted, you know? How good do you think the Leona is at protecting the Ezreal? Hopefully really good. Monkey! Yeah, we're way too deep. We, we can't win this game 3v5. Uh, Kazix did kill Syndra though, which is good. But yeah, we can't win this game 3v5 when they've got a, a team fighting monster Wukong. We need maybe even Jace the group just to batter him away with his E. Mm. Ooh. Ooh. How much damage? Like 95% of damage from Wukong. I took 900 damage from Cyclone it items. What would that be? Like Sheen proc or something? Hmm. What shirt is it? It's a McLaren F1 shirt. Go, go, go! Yeah, close. Fight! We can do Baron after this. Fight! For the right! To party. Just press R, baby. Can we go do Baron? Damn, we should have gone straight to Baron, man. We don't have any minions to go do, like... To, like in Hib. Ezreal! Mm. 
Yeah, monkey lived. Death stance. Did he have death stance by then? I don't even know. I can't be bothered to run. I think that's pretty worth <laughs> just Leona died. Sweet. Oh, Wukong also took Ignite, by the way. Hmm. Not sure if that's worth... Oh, yeah, there's a Syndra this game. Is it bad? I forgot. Hmm. Maybe. Uh, he got caught. That didn't kill her? Oh, mamma mia. Damn. Ezra had both summoners as well. That's annoying. Did we get... Oh, we didn't even get the init. Oh, that sucks. Alright, just run. Don't die now. Do we have any anti-healing? No one buys anti-healing, dude. Man. Oh, I'll just buy that. Right, we should just group up, man. Group up, win a team fight, and we have two in Hibs. Game could even be over by then, too. Disapproving Pigeon. Six months of tier one, just says. Pigeon noises. Wait, why is Leona getting caught? Wait, Wukong used his ult for a Leona. Okay, Leona kind of entered there, to be honest. This game's pretty easy if we just kind of play smart, but there's a few things that are just stopping us win the game at the moment. Mainly, you know, not being together in some instances. Very nice. Again, I still don't know why Jace is split pushing 24 7. Kind of annoying. One in here. Right. Careful now. Careful now. Rotato, potato. Me top lane and me split push, pretty much. Wait, Nocturne was behind us. I honestly don't know what the hell's going on. Like, the Ezreal just loves playing only all in. And, uh, yeah. They've got a Wukong and a Nocturne that like jumping on him, so. The Jace, by the way, has recovered well. So that someone said earlier, so with the Jace, what was 0-5? Yeah, that's what he get for building a tier build and probably still trying to fight a Wukong in the early game. If you're going the tier build, you should be playing passive. I guess he wasn't playing passive. Uh, but now you can see the outscaling has happened. Remember ages ago, by the way, it was like, oh, this guy's on 100 farm. Look at Wukong's farm. It's hardly moved. But this is the problem with this Wukong's playstyle. Yeah, you got fed in lane, you're running Ignite, you went aggressive. But you haven't used any, like, strength to actually, like, continue your gold lead, like, direction in forward. He, he let the Jace get back into the game, basically. You should have, like, kept the pressure up. Um, so we get Dragon Soul. That's pretty good. Again, not exactly the dragon that I would want, but it's fine. May as well go buy it. 
So is Nocturne going to split push? What do I think is the best Dragon Soul? Ocean. Easily. Look at the Jace damage, but now, by the way, it's <laughs> the fear when he has the movement speed buff from Phase Rush. Okay, that's really funny. <laughs> Run to the hills. Run for your life. Uh, don't think the enemy... Well, I'm going to stay away from my team because Wukong will be looking for a big AoE ultimate. Ta-da! <laughs> it's like magic. Got the monkey. No! <laughs> Minions killed me. Oh, Jace got her though. Jace got the Syndra. Worth. Alright, nice. Again, pretty good win. Uh, we didn't get too fed this game, but again, we got pretty, I'd say pretty heavily focused by the Nocturne in the early game. And as a Velkoz with no mobility, you're always going to struggle a little bit in the early game when uh, when the enemy jungler is kind of like sniffing your butt and it's like, oh, hello. Uh, you have to play a little bit more passive than you wanted to, uh, but that's fine. Um... I'll give it to the Jace, and I'm going to put stayed cool, because he was 0 and 5 at one point, but he stayed in the game and scaled, which is good. Uh, he went 978, 230 farm, plus 22, and damage-wise dealing. Second most damage on my team, uh, behind the Ezreal, which is fine. And then, yeah, Cinder does the most. Her damage is always really high. And then Wukong actually coming in, well, second on his team. So he actually went Cinder most damage, then Ezreal, then me, then Wukong. And then there is quite a big fall off after that, but... uh. Yeah, pretty good game again. Hopefully you guys have been enjoying the content. I'm going to keep recording because today we just make, we're just smashing out videos. And why not keep going when today is a good day? You know, not every stream day is a good video production day, I will admit. And uh, so when it is a good video day, I should maximize that as much as I can. Uh, but yeah, like, subscribe, comment down below. See you guys next time. Peace.